What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dosh. Come back to you for real takes. Uh, today, I'll be doing a reaction to what looks like to be an honest trailer. This one's uh, entitled Venom. Now, I'm curious to see what this is about. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and jump into it, and I'll save my rant then, you guys. <laughs> Somebody's like, um, Venom honest trailer. From the studio that Marvel lets play with their toys comes the Spider Man villain everyone wanted to see on screen. Until they did. Hey, Parker. Oh, God! But this time, they can't even afford to put Spider-Man in it. Mm. Venom. Get ready for a gnarly, sick, tight movie you'll love. Mm -hmm. As long as you're the kind of person who says gnarly, sick, and tight. As this genre runs out of Silver Age heroes to adapt and enters the extreme 90s era of leather jackets and attitude for a film that would have been so much better if it were rated R. Right, I agree. But it made almost a billion dollars, so sh what do we know? Witness Tom Hardy doing just the <laughs> most with the role of Eddie Brock as he plays the investigative reporter like a crackhead squirrel. He came for no man. You'll be captivated by his New York accent? I have spent a significant amount of time with one of these creatures up my ass. His ever-changing man <laughs> bracelets. Oh, you know what? And so many weird little noises. You'll wonder if they've been covering his mouth for a reason. got out of containment. Lots and lots of science talk. You discovered a gene therapy that literally doubles the life expectancy of pancreas. Why are all these hosts showing this hyperacute injection? Metabolic abnormalities that are making it hard for your body to maintain homeostasis. Are you seeing this? He's a oh chief symbiotic. This is adrenal, endocrine. They're behaving We're looking for and running diagnostics. Even fully automated, you can't pilot that craft all alone. Directing the boredom is the not-so-secretly evil Carlton Drake, a man who wants to destroy humanity in order to save it. We brought the planet to the brink of extinction. A plan shared by this film's villain. He was such a douche. Wars, Mission Impossible Fallouts, and The Predators. And that's just in 2018. Thrill he as Drake assumes <laughs> his final uh. form. Raisin Venom. Then try to cheer on the hero as the action concludes with two syrupy blotches wrestling each other like a Winamp visualizer with teeth. Mm -hmm. It really whips the llama's ass. Damn. But Venom's not just an action movie, it's also a love story. As Eddie is torn between his love of Michelle Williams' terrible wig. Yeah, I'm sorry about Venom. And the special guy inside of him who's ready to make the leap from I to we. We. <laughs> and no, like it's not weird that I shipped Simbrock. The movie made a quarter billion in China, and this is how they advertised it. Look, ever since Tumblr changed, this is all I got left. Let me have this one. Ooh. Ooh, epic voice oh, wow. mm -hmm. So enjoy a comic book film that isn't bogged down by 20 other episodes like the MCU or the grandiose pretensions of the DC that. universe. This is amazing. Because sometimes it's fun to watch a movie that's just a movie. Even though it did so well, Sony will probably use it to kickstart an entire cinematic universe. Hard pass, Sony. Hard pass. Unless you get flubber. <laughs> Starring Sad Max, Inky and the Veins, Dan from Veep, and Dan from Venom. Man Taster by the Sea. Man Taster by Beyond the Sea. Musk, Everyone goops. <laughs> the Rialto Theater. The Rialto Theater. And that's that's the Rialto that's Theater as well. The Rialto Theater. Again. What the Talk about a the proper Rialto. shot out. Damn. And, Ooh, I'm the yeah. Oh my God, huh? <laughs> Close encounters of the turd uh, kind. Of the turd kind. Wow. The wind on the street. The turd. And the wind. If 
your turds are thin or light enough to roll in the wind, please call your gastroenterologist. Wow. Slow motion, like baby lotion. I like to have my elbows tickled. Firefly is the opposite of waterfall. Justice for Blockbuster. <laughs> knock, knock, let the devil in. Mm. All right, you guys, I enjoyed this trailer. I will tell you this. I enjoyed seeing Venom at the theater. I had a really good crowd when we went to see it. It was great. It was fun. The action, I do still feel a little tad annoyed at the fact that they couldn't make it R, but we know what that's all about. They're keeping the hope alive for Spider-Man. It is what it is, but all I got to say is this. If they're going to do the next one, they might have to go the route that I feel like some people are hoping, myself included, that if they do have Carnage in the second installment, that it will be Radar, because I cannot really see them doing that one as a PG-13, but you never know. They kept giving us the idea they were going to do this one in a Radar, and here we are with the PG-13, but it did very well. As the trailer said, what well, do we know? So I'm just like, okay, it is what it is, but I'm, I'm totally down to see another installment. I know Tom Hardy's working on some other movies right now, so hopefully sometime this year coming maybe towards the end of the year they'll start talking about um, possibly getting back together to do the next installment for that so yeah I'm totally down for that I want to see if they're going to show She Venom again you know with Michelle Williams because I know she said she would love to have her own standalone so that's really interesting being because she's never wanted to be a part of anything that had to do with any type of comic book character so to know that she's kind of made a full you know 360 of sorts whichever I'm kind of down for that and I like her little small scene as She Venom she actually was pretty damn good at that so but anyway you guys comment below let me know what you all think and with that said i will see you guys on the next reaction you guys take care